My name is Wes and I work for NCSI. Um, today, I'd like to show you an example of how to filter a pick list so that um, the values that we want to see based on the role we're logged in with, or perhaps a group we're a member of, can be restricted. So um, I'm going to use a common requested configuration to show limiting what the status of an instant can be that can be chosen by the user. Um, we can do this based on role. It's going to be the first example. And the second example, I'm going to be um, showing you how to restrict that by um, being a member of a team. So we'll start by going to the back end here, configuration, business objects, incident. And the easiest way to navigate to this is just go to that field that uses the pick list. Go down to status. And we'll look at the pick list name, which is, you know, click it, edit. And so here we see that um, this shows the list where we're getting our values from, but there's no constraint. So we're going to add a constraint here. <clears throat> we want to limit the status that can be chosen. Um, and we want to say they can choose any status where it's not in is not equal to, and could you say closed here? <clears throat> that would cause us a problem because um, there's a user in the system, internal services, that needs to be able to set that to closed so that our escalation engine, which says once you set that status to resolved, we're going to wait seven days and then we'll close it. Uh, the reason for waiting would be um, because when we close an incident, why the, the, the system is configured out of the box is we'll send a survey to the customer. And so we would like for um, our opinion to be correct in that we resolve the incident and we'd like the customer to agree with that before we actually send them a survey. So currently what we're gonna do is um, for this to restrict by role, we're gonna say um, current user role here. We'll use that function and do a little if statement. If current user role, and we can do um, in a list, we use in, right, quote, admin, or service desk manager, then we don't want to restrict it. So we're going to say, um, we're going to restrict it, um, and we're going to say then nothing. Basically, it says, don't show nothing in the list, which is not there, so don't do anything else. Well, so if we're not in these rules, we'll restrict by closed. Hit save there, save. And so where the status is not equal to close, if we're not in those rules. Now go down there a little bit, hit save. Let's go over and look at the front end. We'll have to refresh and get our metadata updated here. Like that. <clears throat> and I'm an admin, so I should be able to see that um, status, no problem. Click the drop down, closed. Right? And also for um, service desk manager, I should be able to see that status as well. So this first. Status closed, no problem. Service disk manager and admin can see that closed status. But if I log in as any other role, and we'll just use service disk analyst in this case. I do not see the closed status. I can set it to resolved, and then I'm relying on the system to wait seven days before we survey the customer. Um, and then it sets it to close and sends that survey out, right? So that's one way to restrict um, the statuses that can be seen by the role that is logged into the system. Right. Let's go back in as an admin here. And I'll show you another way. We'll come back over here. So what I'd like to do is just create a group. Um, in this case, we're going to create a team. And, and if you're a member of that team, you'll be able to set the status to closed. If you're not a member of that team, you won't be able to set the status to closed. Um, one note of interest there is that 
you need to make sure that you add one particular user to that team, uh, which is internal services, because that is the role that, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the user that the system uses to run things like escalation engine, set statuses, et cetera. So here, uh, what I'll do first is I'll go back here to Teams. And I'm going to add a team. I'm going to give it a, just an arbitrary name. And we'll call it something like, maybe it's an arbitrary name that means something to us. And it was incidents. And we don't need to be service desk. This can be anything. And we'll just make this me. And five bucks a minute. Okay. And hit save. Once it's saved, then I can add users to it um, to allow them to be able to set the status to close. The first one that I need to make sure that I absolutely must enter is internal services. Search for that guy, internal services. Right now, internal services, once I save this, um, should be able to close an incident if we set our formula correctly. So let's go back here and the formula on that pick list filter, business objects. And really the easiest way to navigate, go to the business object, go to the field, make sure we're choosing the correct pick list. Go down to status. And here's our pick list, I'll edit it. There's our old filter in there, we'll click this guy here. We'll change this up, I'm gonna say, um, we're going to say if current user and team. So we'll say current current user and team. And let's go back and remember what the team name was. Let's go right here. See. And pop them in there then nothing. So if they're in that team, we don't want to filter by anything. If they're not in that team, we'll filter by closed, filter out closed, and then hit save. Yeah. And save. Come back over here, hit refresh. Let's do it again. So I would expect, since the administrator me, doesn't matter what role I'm logged in with, but I am not a member of that team. So if I go look at incident, and I look at the statuses, I do not see closed. So if I want to be able to set the status to closed myself, then I just need to be added to that team. So let's go back to teams. And close instance team. And I'll just link myself and save. And let's just give us a refresh here. Let it set up. And we'll see that I can now see the status of closed. So I'm filtering that list based on being a member of a team in the system. Um, and so there's a couple of different ways to filter a pick list. Um, in this case, for status, which is a commonly asked for filter. Thank you, and until next time.